Hello, my name is Brian Search. I'm Deputy Head of Collections here at Manchester Museum. I'm delighted to have with me Dr Laura Hausman. Laura, you've studied the Minoans and their relationship with nature. Um, I think you might be aware of this piece of painted plaster piece, a, a copy actually of a, a famous fresco uh, from the island of Santorini and it depicts swallows and this, this is very interesting to us at the museum because of our project about migration and both animals and human migration. I wonder if you could tell us something about what this particular scene means to you, what, what your researchers might, yeah, might, might tell us about this particular scene. Yeah, um, I think what's interesting about this fresco is um, first and foremost is it's very well preserved um, it's one of the only the few frescoes that we have from Thea that's that's so uniquely preserved. And, and as you mentioned, it, it pictures a beautiful pair of swallows um, and some red lilies as well. This particular fresco is from Delta II um, on Aquatiri, um, which is obviously one of the, the main uh, towns in Santorini or, or Thea, um, which was preserved really well um, following the Thea eruption. It's interesting about the fresco. Um, and indeed, most of the known frescoes is it's so beautifully um, rendered and it really um, highlights, I think, the Minoan naturalistic style. Um, I think what's lovely is the artist who's made this fresco um, has really captured the movement of the swallows. Um, they are, it's obviously a great interest to the Minoans um, that they've chosen to depict the swallows in such a natural way. Some scholars believe that this fresco depicts um, a pair of mating swallows. Um, and obviously that's interesting for us in terms of migration when they're coming and going from Crete. Um, and some scholars also believe that what it might depict is an adult swallow and a, a slightly younger swallow. And what we're seeing here is the swallow um, being fed in flight, uh, which is a really beautiful uh, kind of image to capture from a fresco. Um, some scholars also believe, it kind of conversely, that this picture depicts um, what's known as a feather fight, where two swallows are kind of fighting, uh, in, almost in combat with each other, um, and it, that's kind of part of the um, nesting um, uh, procedure that goes on with swallows when they arrive on the island to mate. Is, is there any sense in which the, swa the, the images of the swallows might represent something like the cycle of nature or, or rebirth, and might, might they have a, a symbolic significance? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we see swallows being depicted in quite a few different images um, in Minoan art. We also get them depicted on um, a number of different pottery styles as well. Um, I think the general consensus is that swallows um, do kind of seem to be symbolising the arrival of spring. Obviously this is the kind of time of year that the swallows would be arriving on the island and it's a natural kind of image um, for an artist to pick up on uh, and you can easily imagine you know, the really heralding spring, the arrival of spring on the island. The particular, this image is obviously from Akrotiri, which is um, off on the island of Thera. Um, it's about 63 miles north of uh, Crete, the mainland of Crete. Um, and so we're looking at um, a fresco that was approximately 3,600 years old, something Oops. like that. Um, that would be the time of the Thera eruption, so we're perhaps looking a little bit before Just then before. as well. As well. Well, it'd be nice to think that uh, when tourists go out to Santorini today, that uh, they, they see swallows on the island. Yeah. And perhaps they're the direct descendants of the two birds that <laughs> we, we can see painted on this, this painted uh, plaster souvenir. Uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful piece yeah, and beautiful. Uh, we, we, we look forward one day perhaps to displaying it in a migration exhibition. Dr. Houseman, thank you very much it's indeed. It's a pleasure, thank you.